um, we received the devastating news that um, no parent should receive that Cameron had cancer of the blood. While many kids were able to enjoy a childhood of fun, Cameron Lottie spent a lot of his time as a youngster battling leukemia, a cancer that affects the blood. So overall with Cameron, he had six and a half years of chemotherapy treatment and for a child at three years of age, that's their entire life was hospitals. During his time battling the disease, he relapsed twice. And when things seemed to be dire, the family traveled to the States to enroll in a trial program called CAR T cell therapy, which according to researchers, essentially re-engineers a patient's cells in order to be able to recognize cancer and attack it. That saved Cameron's life, along with blood donations that he still receives weekly to increase his immune system. We're so grateful for blood donors because they really made a difference literally between life and death. There's many occasions over the six and a half years where, um, you know, Cameron's body from the chemotherapy to the complications, it just wasn't processing. And those uh, donations were critical really for literally his life. June 14th marks World Blood Donor Day and National Blood Donor Week. The Canadian Blood Services are taking the time to thank people who have been donating throughout the pandemic, but also asking for more residents to contribute as donations have been low. The number of people in Canada who donate regularly has decreased by 31,000. We need at least 100,000 new blood donors this year to meet the needs of Canadian patients. We do have a national blood supply, but we have seen a 25 percent decrease in the blood inventory level since March. Um, this is a very large decrease for us, so that's why we're encouraging regular donors to come in, bring a friend or a family member to help us get donations, and we're asking new donors to come in. It's an easy process that takes less than an hour, but an important act of service that could end up saving a life. I'd say thank you. As you have saved many, many lives, and you are continuing to do so. Uh, as you donate your blood, and uh, I'd thank you, and I'm sure a lot of other kids would thank you too. Before donating, you should know that many locations still have COVID-19 protocols in place, and that you'll need to make an appointment before going. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.